The 2016 U.S. presidential race is beginning to take a clear shape. The Democratic establishment disarmed Bernie Sanders' political revolution in a swift and ruthless counter coup, lining up behind its own heir apparent, Hillary Clinton. U.S. President Barack Obama started the lead with three words I'm with her, followed by official endorsements of Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren and Vice President Joe Biden. Our EG1 highlights the latest elements, providing a massive boost to her campaign. Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren and Vice President Joe Biden have joined President Barack Obama in officially endorsing Hillary Clinton as the Democratic Party's presidential nominee. Warren, who is popular among the party's progressive wing, told a U.S.-based television network on Thursday night that she is ready to get in this fight and work to make Hillary Clinton the next president of the United States, bringing the former Secretary of State one step closer to the nation's highest office. The vice president gave his support shortly after a meeting with Bernie Sanders, saying in a speech the same night that whoever the next president is, God willing, it'll be Secretary Clinton. He is expected to issue a formal endorsement soon. The two endorsements came just hours after President Obama offered his, saying in a three-minute long video message that he was eager to get out and campaign for Clinton. I know how hard this job can be. That's why I know Hillary will be so good at it. In fact, I don't think there's ever been someone so qualified to hold this office. She's got the courage, the compassion, and the heart to get the job done. Earlier this week, Clinton surpassed the magic number of delegates required to win the Democratic ticket and became the first female presidential nominee of a major U.S. party. The endorsement increases the pressure on Clinton's rival Bernie Sanders to concede the race. The Vermont senator has not yet offered his endorsement of Clinton, and he would stay in the race until the final Democratic primary vote in Washington, D.C. on June 14th. But after talks with Obama at the White House, Sanders said he would meet Clinton in the near future and work with her to ensure Republican nominee Donald Trump is not elected president in November. Wrapping up his video message, Obama called for the Democratic Party to unite behind Clinton, saying it would ensure not only election victory, but a brighter future for the United States. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.